Today's video is sponsored by you, the Room Sixers who have joined the Patreon page or purchased some of my music. Because of you, the videos will get better, and eventually, some cool things will be coming uh, your way. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the whiskey that makes it taste better. Sound better. Fuck. Feel better? Yeah. All the things better. Makes all <laughs> of Las Vegas better. There you go. I'm gonna do it over. <laughs> take that as an outtake. Yes. Outtake? That's the intro. That's take. good. That's outtake. Six, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, and the whiskey that makes it sound better. I'm Josh. I'm Sean. And we're back with another whiskey review. Um, we're going to drink some whiskeys and talk about how we feel about things. I don't know about a feel, but we'll talk. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, just so you know, we're going to talk. Yeah, sure. As much as we want. You betcha. And these are our reviews. Don't you know. So don't at me, whiskey snobs, about any of this. At me. At I'll him. take you on. Yeah. I don't give a crap. Oh, I didn't tell you. I, 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 will, I, will I have also, a comment. I will try to censor myself for this video. Why? Because I've not done a very good job of it, and maybe that's suppressing views from me. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't so. be surprised <laughs> but, if I was the one being the, the, the view suppressor. Well, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy. Um, definitely, you know, subscribe and click the bell and all that jazz. At the uh, end of the video, I'll make sure to have, uh, you know, the little video windows there so you can check out other videos on the channel. Hey, look, there's a lot of content on this channel. Click subscribe. There's always interviews, there's reviews, there's, uh, there's, there's content being pushed out. You want to be notified. You want to be up to date. Always pushing things. Thanks, man. No problem. Uh, incidentally, I'm on TikTok. I mean, yeah. Incidentally. Incidentally, I'm on Infamously. TikTok. Infamously. Yeah. Um, there's a there's the address right here. Room six LV. But <clears throat> let us begin, and I will let us pray. Let us pray. So, hello, whoever's watching over. Greetings, Facebook salutations. Uh, I'm not reading your shit. You're sideways. Sorry. I already, I already messed up my thing where I said I wouldn't curse. Don't you usually have it portrait mode? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Sorry if we're sideways. But, um, yeah, so <clears throat> what do we got, Sean? We got Black Eagle, age three years. This is a bourbon whiskey. <laughs> it says it's a bourbon whiskey. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll try it out. We'll see what we, we'll, we'll try it out, you know? <laughs> as long as you wear your jeans high and tight, I think you can always try it out. Nothing like a good three-year-old. Oh man, please make that an outtake. <laughs> please cut that. Oh yeah. Cut. Yeah. All right. So, um, age three years, but minimum three years. Obviously, there there may be uh, older things in the in the build to make it uh, yeah. taste palatable, <clears throat> taste I appropriate for what they're going after. So, dollar eighty nine total wine as of time of viewing in Las Vegas in, in Henderson in the year of our Lord twenty twenty. Mm, yes, but. I don't know whether I'm happy or a little worried that they they didn't do like the smarmy little marketing statement or any sort of blurb. There's no, you know, mellow finish or any of that stuff. They just said, here's what it is. You obviously don't read fine print. I will go ahead and read this since his eyes don't work. Ahem. COVID and everything. Jesus. <laughs> Old style individual barreled bourbon whiskey distilled from only the finest quality ingredients oh. for a genuine full bourbon character. He's right. He's Not right. a bourbon whiskey, a bourbon character. Oh. We all know I'm a character. Doesn't okay. make me human. Look at that label. <laughs> and tell me why you would put the, your, your, great, your marketing slogan in the fine print. It is less than... <laughs> I've, I've had to write for college. Mm -hmm. 12 font. 12 point font, single space. That's that four. was a struggle. That's four points. That hurt best. my eyes to read. All right. It was blurry on the label, not in my sight. That's how bad it was. Here's to you, here's to me, and if ever we should disagree, 
Here's to Hugh. 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 Here's to Hugh. Wherever Hugh are at. Here's to Louis. Hugh, Hugh are being appreciated. Anyway, we haven't even started drinking yet. Jesus. Uh, here's to you and here's to me and our wish Fuck you, man. You're ignoring all the people that are commenting, gonna comment going like, My name's Hugh. I never get acknowledged. <laughs> Where are all the Hughes at? Come on in the comment section. Say hello. Have a toast. Let's smell To this Hugh thing. and I. All right. Black Eagle. Get <laughs> back to our jobs. Black, black, black Eagle 3 here. Oh, no. God. Fuck. It's sharp. It's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the nose. It's sharp. Shit. Really? Brittle, bright, citrus. I uh, see. I don't know. Corn. What like it's, it's just. It's all. It's. It's sweet. It's. It's. Uh, maybe my nose. Happy? Maybe my nose is dead. Are you happy? I'm offended. Smell mine. Smell. Smell this. Um. Yeah. I don't smell much. I'm good with. I don't smell much of anything on this. That's what I'm telling you. All right. There's vanilla, there's stone fruit, oh. there's apricot, but there's brown sugar, but there's a funky mushroom. This sounds familiar. Like our last great whiskey review that we did. There's a mushroom, funky, cheesy saltiness. Oh yeah. And I can't, it's like a vegetal. Mm-hmm. I'm getting it now. I can't, I can't get it out of my nose, and this is why I didn't. You, you, you thought I was bullshit. No, 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 no. I serious. see what happened. You pour it because I'm driving home. What? You pour it, yeah, I, I. Excuse you, those are pretty goddamn even. Well, all I know is I snuck my nose and I hardly smelled anything. That's what I'm telling you. Nope, I'm picking up. Like I said, maybe my nose is deaf. <laughs> He's got the wrong eye. You got nose blind, boy. It's too much time with your hands. I'm oh, sorry, too much time on my, not with my, on my hands. Anyway. Too much time with... <laughs> There you go. Uh, Sometimes you have to do the joke a couple times for them to get But yeah, I get stone fruit, I get brown sugar, I get uh, some nice notes, but then it's just mar. Just I thought you were going to say marl tor <laughs> Just torn apart by this funky, mm -hmm. almost spoiled milk, sharpie, iodine note that should be in an isla, but it's 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 out of place. It smells rotten. Would you say mold like like mm -hmm. a wet baseboard? Or wet clothes that have been sitting in the washing machine. It, it's That's awesome. actually a really good distinction. Yeah. Um wet wood. Okay. Really, really over soaked wood that's not gonna be able to light that you just soaked in kerosene. It's not it's not overpowering. It's no, overpowering it's, what's in here, though. Yeah, and what's in there is so delicate that it's really easy to get overpowered. All right. Shall we dive in? Uh, fucking feet first. All right. Let's see what note. What, what note do we have tonight? Uh, F sharp. <laughs> F minus. No, we're no, we're <laughs> off by a, a semitone. Musicians, plug your oh, plug your ears. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Almost cough syrup, but like cough syrup with, with mixed with honey. It's when they when they you try when they try to give you like a throat drop or something that's honey flavor. Ooh, it's syrupy, oily, it's viscous in a bad way. Yeah, Not good. I'm glad we started with this one. Yeah, no, and this to one, be fair, to be fair. Sorry. To be fair, to be fair, to wow. be fair. Anyway, to be fair, you were saying. <sighs> it's also the, the lowest proof. So we're starting at 40%, 80 proof. Very bare minimum whiskey qualifier here. And then we're going to jump up in proof. We're going to jump up in percent. Hopefully in quality. We, oh, we actually have for some comments. For fuck's sake, I hope so. We actually have some comments on Facebook. What do we got going on? Oh. I thought you said you couldn't do Facebook. Uh, I can't do Facebook. This is Instagram. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Kelly. How you doing? Kelly, 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 Kelly. Hi. Yeah, I want cheers on her. You don't want to move it over because... No, I don't need to be seen. You're on the short, boy. I'm a drummer. I need to be heard, not seen. Is it, is it lonely in that pocket? 
only if the pocket's shallow. Good deep focus. You know what it is? If it's, if it's a woman's pocket, the little, like, the uh, little, uh, the, whatever you guys get, the chapstick pocket. Ladies, the, you get the shaft. The coin pocket. The, oh my it God. doesn't fucking hold anything pocket. Ladies get the shaft Sorry. on fashion. Oh, do we need, we need more cork sounds. Like, we need our own censored cork sounds. Why? That's why I put the disclaimer at the front. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, fuck it then. Anyway. Fuck it, you fuck, 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 yeah, fuck this, fuck them, fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is a disappointing. Oh. Not disappointing, because... Well, would you say it's worth $1.89? <gasps> would this be a shoot, a shot whiskey? No. No. Fuck no, it'd be a trash whiskey. That's not even... Okay, so Black Eagle... So far? Oh God, it's it's got a clay note, a clay. Yeah, like a, like a Play-Doh. I was trying to figure out what plasticky I mean. Play-Doh note. Mm -hmm. You've all eaten Play-Doh when you were kids, don't lie. Oh God, it's bad. <laughs> thanks, Josh. Thanks for starting us off that one. Good choice. He just threw the bottle in the trash. Oh, I'm not gonna save it. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Mount it like yeah, a we were fucking gonna, deer head? We were going to, you know, arrange them. No! In preference. No, okay, so, Alton Brown hot ones that yes. in the trash. Okay, fine. So, a black... <laughs> that doesn't deserve to be up here. The official Room 6 Sean Flume <laughs> uh, whiskey review of Black Eagle. Go away. Three-year bourbon. Go is, the fuck away and don't come back. It I is don't the, want it. It is the de bomb of whiskeys. No, it's not. No, I it's had, not. No, no, it's not. De it's true. Would be like a it, we're, not, we're not crying. The bomb <laughs> would be like a cask strength un... Watered down Jack Daniels regular sour mash. Wow, that's not cool. watered down to forty percent. Like a fucking sixty percent. Like a that was cast, strangely specific. <laughs> cast strength Jack Daniels would be like that. Like just Ooh. over. Yeah, there you go. Uh, over no, I powering. Just, I just burped it up. Um, there's there's not take. <laughs> you know what it reminded me of in a weird way? Disappointment. Me burned green tea. Burn tea in general singed. Like it's got a bitterness yeah, to it. Yeah, like you let it you let it sit on the hot plate too long while you're in your mug, and you're like, oh crap. Burn, I burned about herbs. That. If you've ever been cooking and you've singed like cilantro or parsley or something real delicate, and you've you, you that, burnt that, the shit out of it. That's how you clear the evil spirits. But... Sage. I know. I'm Josh. This is one for the day. That's my one for the day. I did one of those things. Wasted it. Next. Uh, next, we've got Paddleford Creek Bourbon Whiskey Mellow Finish. Not in the fine print. Words. <laughs> Not in the fine print. Should Regular print. Oh, I don't want to. Mellow Finish. It looks like a golf course. Um, yeah, it looks like a golf course print. I think that's Paddleford the point. Creek. This is the... Oh. We got lunch in at Paddleford Creek. Oh, uh, you know, we went over to the Paddleford for brunch and we had a nice little egg dish. What was, was, that, was, the, was that the angel sheriff? No, it was a throw of water. <laughs> I, I know. Ah, uh, uh, you can't say it again, can you? Charcoal filtered. So, charcoal filtered. Wait, what am I doing? You Sorry, I, I almost took his job. Question for you in the comments Who opens the whiskey? The person who brings the whiskey, or the person who supplies the the housing, the environment. Um, if we're just having a whiskey to yeah. enjoy, yeah. the person who brings it. The person, but we're doing a tasting, and I am the Mount Mooch, and you are the song. <laughs> you were the one that laid it down. You were the one that laid it down. Hold on, it's not to pour your glass first. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it hit the blinds. <laughs> Ping. That fly that gets caught in the blinds, like, what the hell is it? Help me! It's Help me! Oh, that's super yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go on. It's fucking children. It says, how old are you? 30. I have turned 35. I am in the dirty 30s. The, the difference in age between us can vote. I'm sorry I'm not old and decrepit. I'm sorry. I'm oh! oh! Nicely done, buddy. <laughs> right in the bucket. I, it was that one of the glass. Oh, that was plastic. Plastic. Okay, cool. Yeah, we haven't got a really good shot. <laughs> I was like, please tell me you didn't throw a glass one over there. Dude, I already broke a glass mason jar tonight. It's fine. 
I, 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 two things of glass are broke. Mazel tov. Like my, my, uh, my fucking beer mug broke tonight. Or not broke tonight. I found out it was broke. F in the chat. Uh -huh. beer mug. For us, I have to pay respects yes. to, to the broken glasses all over the world. I, God knows I've broken a lot right. of Glen Cairn. Uh, this is. Palford Creek. Now that you threw the bottle away. 83%. <laughs> Alright, you're trying for a toast. I oh. wish I was as good looking as the man next to me, but I'd rather be as good looking as the man in the mirror. Whoa! Whoa! Made that up off the top of my head. I'm flirting with the man, man in, in the, the mirror. mirror. Mm, we didn't smell. We didn't dig straight into the nose. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Second I'm one. I'm drinking with the man in the mirror. Well, oh. here, man in the mirror. Do your notes. No, I got it. I don't know what's going on with my nose. I, got I, I got for the record, I do not have coronavirus. I have been cleared. I got it. Caramel, uh, cherry, chocolate, brown sugar. Yep. <sighs> I could, wait, I could uh, a little bit of vanilla, uh, some nutmeg, a little bit of chai tea. Interestingly, and I think that comes from the 83%, the little bit of alcohol burn adds a little pepperiness, a little spiciness. That's what I'm gonna go in uh, just on taking a shot of it. You can, you can go ahead. Yeah, no, definitely pepper, but it's a pleasant pepper. <laughs> oh, really nice. This is gentle, such a step up. Gentle. But immediately yeah. quality jumped. This to me says, oh, you wanna try bourbon? Try this. Don't try that. I wouldn't go that far. I think there are a lot better bourbons. Well, no, there are better in the, bourbons. In the in the price range, in the in the percentage, in the 83 percentage, I think there's some really nice things like Jim Beam. Okay, fair enough. Or uh, not Jim Beam. Oh, it's then I I will backpedal and I, say I think it's I think it's equally as good as Jim Beam without the price point, right. which is saying something. Yeah, and I will say it's twice as good as the Black Eagle. Cause this That's not fair. I think the Black Eagle was three times as shitty. <laughs> I don't think it's fair to to, to limit the, what we just There drank. was no limit to the succotude. I think the Black Eagle just deserves to be mm -hmm. beaten down and not drank. But yeah, interesting. Um, I liked it. There was a little maltiness to it, I feel. Um, like a grain. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me pull. I've got less to work with than you. No. I'm pulling from oil still on the palate. Um, oh. Suffice to be said, the weediness oh. I think is coming from. Uh, I think it's wheat. I don't think it's corn. I think it's a little more dusty, a little more barley. No, I don't. Because uh, that would blend towards the malty. Yeah, but I think it's more wheat. I think it's lighter character. I don't think it's dark. I don't think it's right. it's got as as much uh, uh, mm. bit bitterness yep. that darkness brings. I think it's a little bright, a little citrusy, and I think that's yep. what lends it towards the wheat. The, the pepper and the citrus to me is standing out in front of the usual baking spices and but stuff. But the peppery and the citrus is what I lean towards with the wheat finish. Yeah. The, yeah. No, there's definitely the wheat there. For me, like you, I'm having trouble nailing it down to, would you say maybe toasted wheat? Or, I'm, or stale wheat? <laughs> Checks? Or Cheerios? That's not a fair comparison because I really haven't had either. You've never had Cheerios? Not regular Cheerios, no. Oh, my boy. I've also never had Frosted Cheerios or anything. Like, I've had the I've had the Cheerios that used Actually, to be the Oreo shape. Off-brand. And, 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 off and made of the cookies. Off-brand cornflakes. Where it's like, it's kind of Kellogg's cornflakes, but it's not. It's bland. Not it. No, I'm not a cornflake fan. No, I'm saying I've used, the I've, wheat that you're tasting. Uh, I, I, so I've used cornflakes as breading on chicken breast before. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I've never used cornflakes as a cereal. I've used it as like an application for baking or breading. I've never <laughs> eaten it like as a. I, if you dude, eat, the cereal I've eaten is like I've eaten Lucky Charms, Reese's Puffs. <laughs> so here we go. If, if you eat cornflakes as cereal, you're trying to be healthy. And <laughs> it tastes healthy. Do you no, know, do if you know I'm going to be healthy, I'll fucking eat something else. I'll eat a salad in the middle of the day that'll flush uh, out the garbage cereal I put in my body in breakfast. Do you know the history behind Kellogg's Corn Flakes? No. Let's just take a second. Cut out. No, no. You need the oh, water. for fuck's sake. I can't even pour a drink. Here's God the deal. Damn it. Kellogg, Kellogg built a sanitar sanatorium where people could come 
and it's kind of funny choice of word. People could come and purify themselves, and and his cornflakes were were dissolved. His cornflakes. The That's the cornflakes. His that. fucking. You guys cornflakes. don't know that cornflakes. His no. cornflakes were so bland because they were supposed to help you not get excited, which can lead to the mortal oh. sin of communion bread or communion yes. cracker things. Basically. Cornflakes were, corn were invented to help people not to masturbate. Take. Seriously, that was that was like the big the big sin was masturbation. I got this one, guys. I got it. Don't even type it in the comments. I got this. What about frosted flakes? That's for horse. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty sluts that mm -hmm. like frosted. Flakes don't even get me started. With, don't even get me started with, with the ones with raisins. Two scoops. We're, wait, we're including raisin nut bread in that? Well, no, raisin nut bread. I mean, yeah, that's healthy. Cool. All right, cool. That was the, <laughs> seriously, that was the cereal I had at the babysitter. No, but seriously, like fucking uh, raisin John, nut bread. John, John Kellogg, he he did this for, to help you know keep people from being impure, but he also cornflakes were like the first cereal, the first mass-produced cereal. There you go. Moving on. Uh, let me finish this, or do you want to? Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Mine's gone. All in all, I'm not mad at, at uh, Paddle... What is it? Uh, yeah, exactly. Paddle Proof? Paddle Loof? I'm paddle. not mad at that one we just drank. Paddle Fuck? Paddle Purred? Who gives a shit? You don't remember, it wasn't that good. Powerford Creek Bourbon Whiskey Mellow Finish, what? 81, four, sorry, 41.5% alcohol by volume, 83 proof. What he said, Powerford Creek. I'm not mad at it, but I think that would be better as a shot, like you did. There's nothing, there's nothing there. There's no, no blurb, no, just... Oh, there's... Nope. Nothing. Two out of three. But, uh, it... it Excuse it, me. You missed. Yeah, I was one for one. I took one shot and made it in. But you made that one, so that's... I missed... Shot. No, I missed the second one. That makes it one fifty percent. Do we have any still water? Hell, I'll, I'll drink. I don't know if we have any still water. I'll drink sure you missed fun. again. I'll drink running water. So, uh, really do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. While we uh, muck about here, <clears throat> from these two individual little bourbons, we're going to be moving into uh, the Trio. same company that puts out three different types of whiskeys, and. Um, we're kind of excited. I'm excited. I've heard good things about Cloud May. Or Clyde so May. Clyde May. Sorry. Yeah. So it's Clyde Mays. I feel like Burt Kreischer talking to uh, Adam Sandler and not knowing Uncut Gems was the name of his movie. You have to watch that sometime. No, Go I've, watch Burt Kreischer's interview bit. with Adam Sandler. You can't remember the name after of the, the fucking same. movie he was in. But after this, of course. So what we have is Clyde Mays, straight bourbon whiskey, straight rye whiskey, and original Alabama style. Whiskey. Alabama style. The Did they have, were they a blue state this year? Alabama? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? I really doubt it. It's okay. <laughs> really, really doubt it. That's we're not going to go down that road. <laughs> we're not going down any road in Alabama anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Make it come out my nose. Oh, you know, <clears throat> you can only take Alabama so seriously. So this is the Alabama style whiskey. Oh, we're starting there. I thought we were gonna do the bourbon and then move away from bourbon. No, we're doing uh, proofage. Okay, boss. Eighty-five, ninety-two. All right, but first, ninety-four. Let's take a quick jump cut. We're back. What are we doing, Mister Flum? We're doing Clyde Mays. Cool. Incidentally, real quick, just want to say if you are anywhere in the Las Vegas area and you want to learn some music. This man here can teach you the music. I teach guitar, I teach piano, I teach drum set, I teach music theory, I teach songwriting, composition, soloing. We just had a drum lesson before Whatever this. Whatever you want to learn. Yes. I can probably help you with it. Oh, uh, yes. Engineering, uh, production, I can send you to somebody. I have contacts. Just get in touch with me at Sean, S-E-A-N, Flam, F-L-A-M, drummer, D-R-U-M-M-E-R, Sean Flam, drummer. Dot com. And also, uh, he's available for studio work, right? I'm available for studio work, recording, live work, gig work, whatever you need me to do, I can probably do it. 
These are hard times, hard times. You give them the money, you'll do almost anything. That involves hitting on something. We can talk <laughs> in detail. Probably gonna have to sign a contract. There's nothing weird. Yeah, what? Nothing weird. Loser. That they know of. <laughs> oh. So this is the Clyde Maze, original Alabama style whiskey, 85 proof, 42.5 percent alcohol by volume. I tell you what, boy, out of this Clyde Maze, I hate good things, yes. but uh, not many. We should, we should probably say something like, we mean no offense to anybody from Alabama with the terrible accents, but... I mean a lot of offensive things same towards time. people from Alabama. At the uh, same I time. went to the University of Oregon. I don't yeah. believe in your southern schools. I believe the SEC sucks and the Pac-10 rules. Should we piss Get off some people me. with some... Let's piss off some people with uh, abbreviations. BLM, LGBTQ+. No, just SEC and Pac-10 are, are different. No, I was saying anyway. Black Lives Matter. Oh, we do, yeah, okay. LGBT, yeah, sure. anyway. LGBTQIA, yeah. BLM. Point you get. Sort, Charles. It just occurred to me. Did this we get more than two pours out of a bottle? All right, Clyde Mays. Nope, no, 50 milliliter. And how did that same, as, same as before, I support less in both classes. That's how that even though. Uh, there you go. Huh, this looks like uh, I need to drink more water. Actually, I really like the... Uh, no, this is a nice color. This I like the oil content. I like the, I like oh, the it's color. It's Clyde Maze. It's not going to be colored. American stuff can't be colored by yeah. law. So this is... Glass oh, bottle. Oh, I do not like the I'm tapping on the ring. That fucking worries me. The tapping on the ring always worries me. The glass is going to break. I, 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 I saw Frank Underwood do the same thing in a... Uh, in, uh, House of Cards, no, like you would always how heavy, on the table like a like a gavel. But you felt how heavy this bottle is. This is a it's substantial bottle. Half. This is not a bottle that's going to break if I just put it down. No. Yeah. What? You were just saying about my ring. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Try not to sh shotgun this one or Ooh. shoot this one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so so oh. far, right off the bat. Go where you want to go. I'm Clyde Mays. Love it here already. This. Dare I say, this almost reminds me of some scotches. In that it's, then you got the baking spices, but also it's very warm and mellow, or not mellow, uh, uh, velvety smelling. Can I go? Oh, please, I definitely get some uh, some citrus. There you go. Start to dive in, get some notes. Go go, yeah. go heavier than that, what's heavier than but citrus? Folks, when I say, heavier than citrus, well, fruit. I, when I said mellow, I went back up. When I said mellow, I meant on the nose. It wasn't like that first one we drank where it was just like, hey, hey, wake up, wake up. No, man, it's the or order of things that appear. Uh, dark fruit, stone fruit, something mm -hmm. like plums. Definitely a richness. Plums, cherries. On the nose, anyway. There's no pepper. Blackberries, no, 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 no. This is all. This is all beautiful, beautiful, yeah. rich sweetness. So, some, some real depth and character. Uh, caramel, brown sugar, dark, dark, dark brown sugar. Almost like a dark brew uh, <laughs> saltiness. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. At what you were saying. I just happened to notice it's bottled in Florida, <laughs> Alabama style. <laughs> That's fine. Bottling happens. Right I know. There. No, that just struck me funny. But nice vanilla notes, but uh, uh, but a. Uh, there's a, everything has a toasted element to it. Everything has a, a caramelization to it. Everything's a yeah, little just darker, say. a little more intense, a little more it smells concentrated. Like, it smells like caramel that's just a hair over. But not car but but like infused caramel. It's got other things. It was a caramel that was made out of sugary sweetness right. from fruits. No, you know what? I'm sorry. This reminds me more of the car caramel the candy, not caramel the sauce. This reminds me of like a, a really, really, not a fruitcake, but like a, um, like a creme brulee done with dark fruit instead of done with uh, light fruit. Really, really dark, dark plums, cherries, dark plums. Creme brulee with fruit? Yeah, that same burnt caramel sugary taste with the cream, with the with the oh. richness, with the dark fruit. Like it's a dessert compote sugary. Had, it just occurred to me, I've never had creme brulee where they did something with the caramel besides make it caramel. When you burn the sugar. That's no, I meant add, they add, didn't like flavor the caramel anyway. Oh, infuse To my knowledge. It. Infuse anyway. it, yeah, yeah. Infuse caramel is fantastic, but infuse it with things like sage, rosemary, mm -hmm. like something herbal yeah. to cut through all of it, but 
No, there's definitely this no. Is done, it's not herbal. It's, it's not herbal. Yeah. It's, it's heavy, heavy, rich fruit. Oh. It's, it's in such a nice way. And no pie crust. This is not pie crust. No, today. there's no Girl Scouts involved this here. Is a, this is a fucking. This makes me want to drink it. This, this is like fruit and booze. That's what it mm. smells like. You know what? It's very booze heavy. That's yeah, the a lot of times with whiskeys, I will say, oh, this makes me want to have bread pudding. This makes me want to have a steak. You want all this sweetness and all this sugary and fruitiness to offset mm -hmm. the the Maillard reaction of the broken down proteins in the steak and to this, offset the right. butteriness. The, the 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 yeah. You want this to be the great equalizer among your 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 prize steak, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, I, am I wrong? This is no, 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 no. I think that too often people try and pair a Lafroy, a Lagavulin, an Ardbeg with a steak. You should lean super heavy into dessert whiskey. Or maybe cheese. And, or funky, yeah, that too. But like a super desserty whiskey, something that oh. sweet is gonna offset that savory mm -hmm. in a nice way and balance it out as opposed to complement it. And those are always the two ways you can go with pairing. You can complement mm -hmm. or you can contrast. And not enough people contrast. People are afraid of contrast. This would go fucking great with a bacon wrap filet mignon. Bacon. With black pepper butter and like right. brown butter. Like, like brown really, roasted really butter. Amp up black all pepper, the, toasted yeah. spices, everything's toasted. This stands up to it because it's so sweet. It's so now that's just on the nose, we haven't tasted it yet. So I'm, I'm diving in. And I'm diving in, diving in. Ooh. There's some pepper all of a sudden or some bite. I hate it when I'm right. I do. It's so nice. I love it. Oh, it's really this nice. Is, Don't get me wrong. It's so, oh man. But I didn't smell half of what I just tasted. The the ABV threw you off. If you like over if you like higher proof whiskeys and you can still find the delicate notes in it, mm -hmm. it's so nice. Oh man, I love this. Alright, I I can't I can't say good enough things about Clyde May's Alabama style. Yeah. I I the name threw me, but it's such Now what makes it Alabama style? I don't care. It's such a throw away from Alabama for me because I don't like Alabama in so many regards. You all have beautiful golf courses, don't don't get me wrong, but a lot of your people I have found from touring and playing music have been kind of rude and not been the most uh, hospitable people. Uh, these, just passing through, not, not staying, not overstaying, just trying to... But these are common clay, salt of the earth. No, the you know. I, no, 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 no. Hold on, do it right. Uh, I'll, 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 I get you, I get you, I get you. Um, common clay of the New West. Yes, the common clay of the New West. You know. Morons. There's That's another good out. <laughs> uh, shall we, shall we finish? You know what? I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to toast to Alabama. To Alabama's style, Clyde Mays. Sorry, I was just making sure, I was just in my head, I was going through like Alabama wasn't the one that just went through the LSU thing, right? With the, with the, with the, with the I know, I know, I was just like, I, I just had to check. I was like, I don't know the Southern things I want. I was like, fucking Alabama, Louisiana, they're, they're close, but it's not like the yeah. same. Right? You do realize though, it's a very Southern beard you have, sir. Yeah, I know, I'll fix that when I go to Cali next week. I, I recently- I'll, I'll come back with a, with a different- I recently trimmed the point off because I was, it was sticking out of the mask and it was really getting annoying because I wear a mask all day because I'm essential. I'm useless. No, to Alabama, not. equally as useless as me. It's going to be a long disclaimer. Mmm. <laughs> a little creamy? Super creamy. But I still jump into that dark toasted brown sugar, cinnamon, Dark fruit note. Mm. It's almost figgy put, not figgy pudding, but like figgy. Fig Newton? No, like not figgy. Fig just figs. Right. It's the filling of a fig Newton. <laughs> but like figs, grapes, cherries, plums. Okay. Oh, Please yeah, don't. There you go. Grapes. Yeah. Please don't throw this one. No, 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 that's good. Oh. So so far, of the three we've tried, five. Of the three we've tried. Sorry. New video. Five. Sorry. Shit. Three. Five. We've, Two. We've, we've done three. Yeah, we're we on have, three. We have dos mas. Oh my gosh. See, see what I do, oh. people? I, I, 
I, I, I drive them to drink water. Garbage I mean, water. It's straight vodka. Don't let them. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. There you go. Watch your fucking. No, watch um, your that vodka. You're going to hate me, but I would it's really dangerous. I would really enjoy this on the rocks. But two rocks. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate you at all. I don't ever. No. I would never judge anybody about that. Drink on the rocks. Right. Whiskey, whiskey tribe? Rule number one. Which, by the way, I've been seeing a lot of Whiskey Tribe lately where people really not following rule number one. Uh, yeah, there's there seems to be a, a cultural shift as the tribe gets bigger, and <laughs> I'm going to be honest, we, we were talking about that when I joined. Maybe we need to change the password. <laughs> maybe we need to remind people of what the ethics are behind Whiskey Tribe. Yeah. Which rule number one, the best whiskey. Is the whiskey that you like to drink. The way you like to drink it. That's it. That's, That's it. all it is. That's all it's ever been. People are going to like what they like. People are yeah. going to not like what they don't like. But I think rule number two should be don't yuck somebody else's yum. Boom. I think that's a fair yeah. statement. I should make a little clip of just what we're saying. And I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm a super that. hypocrite in that. And I'm very bad at rule number two is don't yuck somebody else's yum. But I always have to remind myself they have a backstory that you don't know about. They have right. a reason that they like the thing that they like for a reason you don't know about. Right. Maybe you should talk to them, ask them, converse, Here's you know, the get thing. to know people. To me, the whiskey, the way you feel about whiskey is the same as someone feels about some sort of food music. that you don't like. Or music. Movies. Yeah. Movies, directors, Both genres. Are. It's all the same. Also. It's preference. Hey, especially if you're new to the whiskey world or just alcohol in general, your taste will change. I didn't like mushrooms until I was 33. And suddenly, I love mushroom pizza. I love, you know, mushrooms, uh, sauteed mushrooms and butter. What? My favorite pizza, and don't, don't you fucking hate me, mushroom, pineapple, and bacon bits with barbecue sauce drizzled on the top. From Blaze Pizza. Whoa, okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. You, hold, oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. All right, your views just tanked. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can we, I'm going to mark that in the time. Pineapple stuff. belongs on pizza. This, this is where this video goes to shit, and this is where the dislikes happen. But I implore you. Try it once. And then you'll know. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Take the pe take that pizza. Take another pizza you never thought you'd try. Try them back to back blindfolded. You have to guess what the ingredients are in the pizzas. Do it like a do it like a do it like a roulette. Mm. Do do it. You got a pepperoni, you got a cheese. Okay, for fuck's sake. You got a, a protein, you got a cheese, you got a vegetable, you got a fruit, and then you got one that's got all of them. Just, just be expansive. Try new things. Stop being so narrow-minded. The next time your work Pizza's has a delivery system for toppings and carbs. You go fuck yourself. I wasn't. I cauliflower I, pizzas. Cauliflower. Right? I mean, carbs are good. Carbs are, are awesome. Not the amount of carbs I eat. Hey, buddy. It's a really big amount. It's a surprise. Ask me what I had for lunch. Sorry, it's not a surprising <laughs> amount. I take that back. No. That was a mis a, Sir, a misstatement on myself. You are a slender read compared to the man I met. I I have lost my yeah, you're you absolutely right. I feel better than I have in a long time, but I'm also getting uh, uh, sleep. Hey. Sleep good. Sleep friend. Sleep's great. You know when you yawn and, and you cry a little tears because you, you your bed misses you. <laughs> that's horrible. Alright, oh, uh what do you mean? Rye or bourbon? We, we, oh no, we gotta do bourbon first, then rye. Are the, you sure? Rye is the heavy hitter. Right? Oh yeah, 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 okay. Better close out the night with the rye. I was thinking right. let's close out with, with, with the one we like. I mean, is it, nobody. Oh, fuck. There's what? 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 Where? Oh, what? Oh, do we miss something? Tom's great. Tom. What up? Hey, buddy. Sorry, we're sideways. Sorry, fuck. Okay. We're not yeah, sideways. Lonnie McFadden from Kansas City. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I actually. I played a gig with Lonnie McFadden uh, uh, where I subbed for a, a guy who. Passed away a couple years ago, and Lonnie was just the nicest fucking guy. Tap dancer, trumpet player, singer, performer, just vaudevillian. One of those guys. Fucking monster. Could monster. Talk to everything. Everything. Just wow. could sing, could play, could dance, could just everything. 
And now he's opened up a little club in Kansas City, which we should go to. Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas yeah. City, Kansas? Uh, I don't know if it's KC, Missouri, KC. Because for Christmas, guess where I'm going? Kansas City, Missouri. You have to... I'm going to that barbecue place that you have to eat at before you die, Courtney Anthony Bourdain. Yeah! Cited. I cited. Nice. Because, in case you didn't know, I like the meat. Anyway. My vegan friend here, you're, he is one of two vegan friends I have that are not necessarily vegan because animals are cute, but because of the environment or because you want to you know, get in shape, right? I originally started doing it because I wanted to lose weight, right. and I went from a dangerous 285 mm -hmm. to a, a really borderline unhealthy 202. Yeah. By the way, 285 for some people is not dangerous, but he's I'm not five, that tall. I'm five foot nine. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty fucking short. I'm not tall. Yeah. So my center of gravity is low, which means my gut goes out real quick. Yeah. My 285 was a not pleasant looking 285. Couldn't play, couldn't move around a whole lot, couldn't go on walks. We used to call him Pillsbury. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And, um, no, you didn't, but enough people did. Aww. And, uh, but you know what? Eventually, you do it for yourself instead of for other people. You don't do it for yourself. You do it because you believe that there's something, there's an alternative out there better right. than than just yep. your your own taste buds. You have, to, you have to you have to give up to. Yeah, at 47, I started working out again, and I'm I'm almost back to where I was when I was in my late 20s or early 30s as far as what I'm able to lift, and I'm not doing it for vanity. I, you can totally see the guys and the girls that are in the gym doing it for vanity. And you're just, yeah, or, on their phones. No, because they're wearing <laughs> they're wearing clothing that's a size too small. <laughs> the schmediums. Yes, the schmediums. <laughs> oh fuck! Who was it that told me schmediums? Oh, but oh fuck! It was somebody. I think it was Tom. But then Tom's then I wear a shirt like this, which is it's it's the Tom proper Tom. size for me. But when you're working out and you can feel the sore muscles and stuff, and you're like, but I want it to be fitted. <laughs> I don't want this. I want to fit a fitted t-shirt. Mm. By anyway. the way, if you if you get fitted t-shirts. I'm not gonna say I was gonna say something that rhymes with duck true, but I won't. Because right. you know what? Rule number one, right? No, no, hold <laughs> on, hold on. Fashion does no, not. No, 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 no. I did not say Ed Hardy shirts. Same thing. Fitted shirts are pretty much like yeah. an hearty Well, here's the deal. Fucking Peter it's time for Peter. Life Lessons with Josh. Quick, cue the uh, inspirational music. Look, 2020's been hard enough. Don't make it worse. That's it. That's all, uh, that's all I can say. Also, um, don't be a douche. Your mom was right. Um, fuck Trump. And, um, go Niners. Anyway. Ding. I've reached my floor. Thank you. All right, this is straight bourbon. 92 proof, 46 oh, That might be the intro. That's fine. Uh, so I'm sorry, we're doing... Clyde Mays bourbon, same proof? No. Uh, 41.5 versus 46. And I just, a, I just looked jump. at the rye. It, yeah, and it's another jump. 47. So. I can't fucking. Hey, man, that's not coming off. No, then. Yeah, I know. Um, every, that's the problem with these metal things. Remember that one we got with had it? It was a mini with a cork. It was so nice. What was that I, whiskey? Oh, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna put I a link. Never seen I'm, any of I'm gonna put a there's a there's a card up here on YouTube. Uh, go to my channel, your Rip Six, and uh, I we did a review of this. It was glass, it had a cork, it was it was amazing, right? It was good, but we can't remember the name of it right now. Probably because this is our fourth one. You know what? You take too long. I take too long. That's what she said. Look out, he's got a knife! It's all right. Don't try this. He's a professional. Uh, I've worked enough years in life. Yeah, he actually. For those of you who don't know, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. He was a trained chef, or he is a trained chef. Trained chef or cook? I mean, I've worked in steakhouse enough years. All right. Why did? 
Why do you make your more mess in your place? Why, why would you? Because it's that? my house. I can do whatever the fuck I want. And why are you asking questions? I don't in know. My house. I... For a second, I thought you tossed the glass. <laughs> like fuck it. <laughs> you don't. Man down, man down. Stop. Yes, we, ha we, we, we haven't been doing the thing. Ooh, that's, that's precarious. This video brought to you by the Nasal System. There you go, Clyde Bay Straight Bourbon Whiskey, uh, 92 proof, 46%. Uh, filtration. New chill filter. Carefully crafted recipe number two for those of you playing along at home. <laughs> Why would what would that mean to us? Uh, you know what? It says it on the label. Some people hunt for that shit. True. So recipe number two. Where does that say it's distilled? Kanaka Ridge Distillery, USA. This this one here is distilled in Indi Indiana. Distilled in Indiana, bottled by Kanaka Ridge Distillery in Cocoa, Florida. Same here for the so bottle. Indiana. Didn't we learn that Indiana is uh, MGP? I believe so. But interesting. I don't know if it's MGP. Whiskey. Recipe number three. Is this oh. recipe number one? Recipe one. Well, Didn't see it because it's like just this little red hash mark on a yellow background. Which those of you who are Hulk Hogan fans from the eighties. Yeah. Know. yeah. No, no, that was Macho Man Randy Savage. I, 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 the fuck I know. I did it and immediately regretted you, it. Why are you I'm mega sorry. powering? Rewind. What? No, he's doing the mega powers, which was Randy Savage and. Hulk Hogan, what but Hulkamania was, uh, was yellow and red. With what you gonna you do? Know look. Oh, don't get sued by YouTube. Or the fucking whoever it is copyrighted. I'm not monetized. Guys, can you share this so we can get monetization? Honestly, so just get to that. I need 850 tier. subscribers. Just so you put ads on, on this YouTube. fucking thing. You don't even have to click the ads. We just want to get there. Just... At this point, I don't even care. I do. I, I care. You're passionate about it. Thanks, and you're, you're giving up on it and it hurts. I'm not giving up. He's honestly, he's fucking giving up. And yeah. if you would share this, it would really help. Alright, so this is. The views the, expressed by Mr. Sean Flume are totally, totally the views expressed by Only, 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 and solely by me. By the way, straight bourbon whiskey. If you are a fan of the channel, this man was my very first musician interview. Also, your first interview. Well, my first interview. Yeah, my first interview. Sorry, I don't know why. I first interview. That. First musician interview. I mean, we can add it. He to helped me list. break the channel, and he helped Broke me figure the out the channel things. open. Yeah. I mean, the content and creating. And we were so drunk. <laughs> I've done. I've, I'm also the most appeared guest on this channel. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I was thinking in interviews. I was thinking interviews. Uh, most appeared guest on yeah. this channel. Easy with the flex, there, son. You might hurt something. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would like to see this succeed as much as you I care about okay, it. Much. I obviously care about it. I put my time into this. I put my time into being around you. I wish I'd worn a, a, a merch shirt. I have merch now, which is a thing. I need a coffee mug. I can do that for you. How much? For you? From the store. For you? How much from the store? For you, my How friend? How much from the store? How much <clears throat> from the store? Online at room6.shop. Thank you very much. Room6, room, the number 6, dot shop. <clears throat> Nine ninety five for a coffee mug. Thank you very much. For the smaller size, and there's a bigger one too. No, no. The fuck? Oh, what? Now I'm insult. Now I'm angry. Why would you even tell me the price of the small coffee mug? The big one, fucking duh. It's like two bucks more. Squirking. And there's, duh, there's, two, the there's, there's the Room 6 banner design which wraps around, and then Cork there's... Corkin' Duh, there's another t-shirt for yes. And there... <laughs> no. Yep. Corkin' Duh. Oh, Corkin' Duh. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't tell yeah, that. Yeah, like Cork is the... Spirit. And then there's a red R6 on both sides. Nice big fat red R6 for Room 6. I personally prefer the red R6, but you can have the banner one. I like banners. Or you, no, you can do the whichever you want. Anyone that I can rotate, I... I... Yeah, yeah, that's a good one where you're like... Yeah. Yeah. See that? Okay. No, for those of you that don't know, I have a really bad uh, carpal tunnel tendonitis in my wrists. So a lot of my moving of my wrists is just breaking tension, and it's Ooh. a lot of popping. So there's some ASMR stuff in there for you. That's in the future, crazy. if I can uh, get that situated with a condenser microphone. See, people like pop screen. Like, I know. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm good at it. Getting my back to the point. Body goes, 
Uh, yeah. this. All right, this is straight bourbon, so straight bourbon is 46%. It's, it's not what I think of when I think of bourbon on the nose. What do you think bourbon on the nose? I think uh, caramel, brown sugar, yeah. vanilla. Yeah, all those, and then whatever they decide to, you know, maybe a little pepper, maybe a little of this. But, I mean, am I wrong? No, this is just hitting me straight up bourbon. Like classic bourbon notes, but classic in a way that's not. You know what it is? It's not Maker's Mark. The first three ruined me for this because they're like, here, this one's got pepper and this one's just terrible and this one's and the citrusy and this one. Man, there's a lot of bitching on your own channel. You, <laughs> you threw the bottle, Mr. Elton Brown. I threw two of the bottles. That's because the first two were garbage. The second one wasn't so bad. It was not as good as the third one. No. Okay, so what do you get besides the usual? You get anything else, or is this kind of greenstone one note? By one note, I mean bourbon. It's nice bourbon, though. Yeah. It's not. Would this be a good introductory? So bourbon it's for not. Yeah, it'd absolutely be a great. Uh, this is also a good cocktail bourbon because it's higher proof, so it's going to stand up to being mixed in the cocktail better. Yes, that's but, what this. This reminds me of. Okay, no, no, no. Don't give me that expensive bourbon. Mix it with that one. So what I was going to say sorry, was, sorry, sorry. when you use Maker's Mark, there's a really heavy cherry note. Sometimes it's maraschino cherry, sometimes it's medicinal cherry. It depends on when you, I have get, noticed that. When you get the bottle, when, yeah. when the batch number is, et cetera, et cetera. This seems, from what I've seen in reviews about cherry notes and with reservations on bourbons with cherry notes, it's pretty consistent. So take take that with a grain of salt, but Maker's Mark is a little inconsistent. Do that in your coffee though. Absolutely in your coffee grounds, right. a little pinch of salt, takes away the bitterness. Add some creaminess, add some, some niceness to your coffee. But you digress. But I digress. Um, I'm not getting any offensive cherry nuts, I'm not getting any sourness. No, this is all just welcoming. So hey, we didn't do nothing, we didn't clink or nothing, man. You're just gonna swallow it down? I don't like the way you phrase that. That's why I did it. Ooh. Yeah. That's just what you expect from bourbon. But there's no... Twist. Heavy-handed chip. No, there's a twist. It's like a lemon... There's like a mm. zininess in the in the citrus, but it's like a lemon orange predictable thing. Yeah, it just kind of turned up a, a notch. It's not. I would say this is more peel than fruit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. You get yeah. the essential oil. You get the you get the you know, concentrated it, this version of this it, which is, is what I mean by turned up. I can see why you, this would definitely go well with a mixed drink, especially if they're gonna put a little rind twist or, or, or a little peel sugar twist. and dilute it. Yeah. It's like they took the garnish and put it in the bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put it in a good way. Not like an oh, oversaturated, no, 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 no. Yeah. not in a not so, in a spoiled oil kind of way. Just nice and approachable, but you know, it's also a, it also lets you know, hey, I'm not here to fuck around. Yeah. And I appreciate that. It does what it says on the tin. It's straight bourbon whiskey. Yeah. They're not they're not trying to go great goose on it with like layers of salty and stuff. Great goose tries to do that? Is that their thing? Let me put it this way, I'd rather have Costco vodka over Grey Goose. But I'm what's a simple wrong, man. What's wrong with Tito's? Nothing's wrong with Tito's. I just Tito's picked Costco because it's cheap stuff. and big. Oh. <laughs> I like my vodka like I like my women. Cheap and big. I love, I, I love you, wife. I love you, honey. <laughs> oh, Larry. I like my women like I like my coffee. Bitter and murky. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is it women say about, uh, I, like, I like my men like I like my whiskey. Aged eight Two. years in an oak barrel yes. <laughs> with very little oxygen. Yes. Here's to women. What would we do with them? And uh, be really fucking lonely. Yes. And probably less happy. No probably about it. I'm thankful. This is the holiday season. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful. Thanks. I'm thankful I've got a good one. Me too. Mm. Now, where did you two meet? If I can go off the path a bit. Oh, I don't know. It's like... Noise. I met mine dancing in a bar. Hey, oh. It does happen, kids. Been married 18 years and been together 20 years. It our, does. Our it marriage happens. can vote and go to war. <laughs> it has. <laughs> we talked for uh, 
three, four, five hours, the, the first actual phone conversation we had. Yeah. No reservations, just talking. Just unbridled, like, hey, what do you what do you want out of life? Nice. None of the bullshit has the has the job, has the thing. Just yeah. yeah. Like, so what do you what do? You, do, what do you, no, yeah. what are you serious about? What do you care about? What are you passionate about? What do you right. what moves you? Like, in four hours of that, the first night kind of propels you right into like you skip a lot of the bullshit first few dates. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, and and we were kind in of a good way. Like, in yeah. a good way, you skip over it. It's like you don't have to waste each other's time or like to, like just. Yep. You cut through all the horse shit and you cut through the the, the fucking around and the will he call, will he call, just fucking talk to each other. Alright. Well now that we've lost yeah. all Everybody. the all the single guys. <laughs> oh. No, I don't see why you've lost all the single guys. Yeah. Now all the single guys will have girlfriends, because that's great advice. Fucking Or talk boyfriends. To, or boyfriends. Or just whatever. talk to each other. Just yes. I don't care what what look how you identify Talk to whomever you wish to be whomever. interactive with. Just just yes. appreciate the company you have with others and the communication you have with others. Would you mind? That's all that's as far as I want to go with that. Would you mind washing out the glasses with water? You know, then, I've washed out the fucking glasses with per, perhaps, water. Perhaps we can have some cool whip later. <laughs> and we can say Will, Will, say Wheaton. Well, wow. say Will Wheaton. Quit <laughs> pizza. <laughs> oh, I miss I, I miss Family Guy, but not that much. You know, I like uh, what was the thing Seth McFarland did? The, American uh, Dad? No, not American Dad. Was the movie uh, live action movie he did? He did Thousand Thousand Ways to Die. Oh, in the yeah, West. Ten, like Ten Thousand Ways to Die in the West or something like that. Yeah, he also did some other stuff. I think. I think Seth MacFarlane is he legit. He also did Ted. He's a real talent. Too. Yeah. He fucking directed him or something, right? <laughs> The, he, the, guy's, hands, the guy's amazing. Touching but, hands. <laughs> but he also writes all that big stage music. Right. That's all him. Oh, I know. He <laughs> is, in a lot of ways, um, the. Who does he remind me of? In the like one of the greats in the past of his own. Not Tim Burton. Um, Sammy. Sammy Davis Jr. No, that's, Actor, that's, singer. That's the person you were talking about musician. who did all the, the five different things. No, that's. Saying that someone's um, over here. Seth MacFarlane. No, no, no. no. You, you said someone else. Start with an L. And they like sang and danced and all that stuff. You're responding to a comment. Oh, Lonnie McFadden. Lonnie McFadden. Oh, Lonnie. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like a Sammy Davis Jr. <coughs> so Lonnie is like Sammy in all approaches, but Lonnie is a is a Casey local. He's he's a man of the people. Okay, he knows gotcha. that he knows he's there. He's yeah. he's that. Not a lot of people realize that Sammy Davis Jr. was a very respectable drummer. <sighs> respectable, monster. Oh yeah, monster. Did, Most of those jazz musicians could play their asses off. Did you ever see the ad he did for some alcohol where he's just scatting the whole time? And he's like playing on the bottle yeah. and stuff, and you're just like, yeah. oh my god, there's so much talent there, and he's. He's ripped right now. <laughs> He's definitely not. Oh, he was. He was so happy. He was enjoying. He was in the. He was feeling himself, as we said. When you see the uh, the old. Um, That's a new thing. I think we should just do that. That's fine. Man. Um. Oh, oh shit! Hold on. He just died. Sean. Sean Connery. They're playing your song. Sean Connery. That's my mother. Yeah. Just stop. It's my mother's mom. No. That's anyway. what we played with my grandmother past week. Can you show a little fucking respect and restraint, please? I apologize. I, I totally trumped that. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Moment of silence, please. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even hold it. <laughs> to be fair, my grandmother would have laughed at that joke. She would have laughed her ass at that joke. Oh my god. I follow. Um, I hope you keep that one. Oh god. Oh, I, I hope you also all. keep that bottle toss because that landed in my hand by happenstance. I'm keeping it all, baby. All right. So, um, feel free in the comments. Feel free on Instagram <sighs> to let us know what song played when your grandma. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> have you Why had, can't we actually, be friends? Let us know. <laughs> have you have you had any of these whiskeys and what were your personal notes with Black Eagle? 
straight uh three year age bourbon. Paddle. Paddleford Creek. Creek. Thank you. Which was supposed to be just a mellow finish it was bourbon, and it was better than the Black Eagle, in our opinion. It stepped over the very low benchmark. And then Clyde Mays. Oh, Clyde Mays has fucking killed it. Yeah. So far. Three for three. For three. Well, we haven't had. Oh, the sorry. Time. Two for two. Two for two. Yes. So we've had Clyde Mays original Alabama style whiskey. We've had Clyde Mays straight rye whiskey. No. no. Straight bourbon. This is the straight rye. I'm sorry. I looked at the bottle when I, I said know, that. Yeah. I know. We did the straight bourbon. Straight bourbon was good. We did the Alabama. We both really liked yeah, the Alabama. Yeah, so far. I also appreciated the fact that it was a little underproof compared to everything else because it allowed some of the nicer, lighter notes oh. to shine through. Oh. This rye, though, I think is going to be a nice mule kick in the dick. <laughs> Smell it. I, I don't want to. No. I just want to dive in. I don't know if you saw my face. Oh, fuck. I, I got him. I got him. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh. <laughs> um, this is when you're, you're, have, you're drunk, you're, you're in your cups, you're having a good time, and then somebody's looking for their keys and you hear that they're 16. You're like, oh, shit. All right. Grown man, it's time to, time to help this kid. True story happened. We were having a house party. And it was a great party. Like, things happened. It was a great party. Build-A-Bear people are some of the hardest partying people ever. I'll take your, I'll take your Build-A-Bear people. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll raise you. Disney Park employees. Oh, look, they're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I will just, I'll just, I live, I, I, no. No. I, ooh, ooh, I, like, I saw the Builder Bear I'm people on social at media way things. too much to not I saw that. the Builder Bear people at those functions. Mm -hmm. The Disney people are freaks. Yeah, they're like. Y'all are weird. <laughs> Y'all like some, mm -hmm. some stuff. No, I've, I've been on social media way too long to know that Disney oh, people, yeah. you the, the shit you have to put up with, it just changes you. But I digress. We had a great party. It was a New Year's Eve party in our house. A couple of young ladies managed to break the toilet at the base in the bathroom from having uh, fun. Like you do. Like you do. There was some very responsibly managed underage drinking. <laughs> and I don't think you can admit to that on YouTube. You may want to cut This that was a, two decades ago. No, a decade and a half ago. Statue of limitations, bitches. Ha ha! Anyway, um, but more importantly, I'm hanging out with some friends, some guys, and we're all, we just tend to be like the responsible people in an air, in environment. Yes, believe it or not, it happens. It doesn't happen with you and me too much, but it happens. And we see a guy, he's like looking for his keys because we all, you know, it's a party. You put your keys in a vault kind of thing. And somebody said, hey, so-and-so's 16. And immediately three of us just went, oh. And like any buzz is that's gone. the that's the sobriety yes like i will rise like literally rise to the occasion like yes everything is now gone and like, i'm clear-headed and i will help you if and I you will tell me this. no i'm fine i can make it home okay i'm gonna be like i believe him because he's been doing this a while he knows what he's doing he knows his limits 16 you don't know however shit. <laughs> however if i'm like oh no i'm fine i'm getting help i'm calling an uber Calling a lift. I'm right. going because home he's responsible. responsibly. Yes. But I'm not going, oh no, I can make it home. I can we, drive home. We hit his keys Don't for like an hour. Don't ever do that. No. Call su call a lift. Call it mm -hmm. a, you have apps, guys. Yes. Stop this. Stop this driving drunk shit. Just call somebody. Yep. You go, hey, I'm going home. Like, I'm done. But we, we hit I'll leave my car here, but yeah. I'll also get a lift in the morning, come grab it, like, when I'm sober. We managed to hide his keys from him for like an hour. And then somebody drove him home, or somebody right. went with him home, oh, I think. Okay. But it was just like, it was one of those moments just like, oh, put that down? Um, where is he? <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. but going back to what you said, back in the day, as your kids like to say... It's a Wednesday. We didn't know if you know that. Back in the day, a Wednesday. <laughs> no, it was actually a Tuesday. A lot of people know it. It was a leap year. Anyway. <laughs> no, back in the day, Wednesday back is a shout-out um, shout to Dane Cook and Dane Cook. I know. I had such I'm high sorry. hopes for him. I just, no, I, I fucking think it's great. Anyway, let me finish my story. There's been 
once in my life where I lost track of time because of the devil's brew. It was about seven of the devil's brews, but anyway. And I, we didn't have Uber or whatever. And I knew I, that I had a system. You, you know how you do like a system, you're like, okay, I start drink, I start with this drink. I start, you're at the bar. I go to this, and then I go to this, and then I go to this. And when I a feel like- yes, I know. This. Yes, and you're like, okay, now is when I go to a Coke, or I go to a water, you know? And, and by this time, I'm gonna be fine. I, I missed, <laughs> I missed my, my exit, and I knew, and I was fortunately smart enough, even like there was nobody, I wasn't with anybody at that point in my life in any way, shape, or form, and I was just like, okay, I work literally 20 steps around the corner from this bar, and my car is parked across the street, I'm gonna sleep in my car, and I did. I woke up, went to work, leaned against the, the little display, as I that's a good product. I I, I, it was the only time I've ever worked out. Yeah, it's, it's the only time I've ever worked hungover. <laughs> Isolate that. Yes. It's the only time I've ever worked out. Oh, I've Just been. take that. Yes. I was drinking, and then the thing. I leaned up against the thing. It's the only time I've ever worked oh, out. No. Just cut. That's you. That, the only time it is. The only time I've ever drunk and nipple fenced was when I was drunk. Yep. Yep. Unbox that. Rewind it. Yes. No, I don't need to. I know what I know what fencing is. I know what unboxing Christmas is. Christmas Eve, nineteen ninety nine. I don't need I don't need to be party like Sicily, nineteen twenty eight. <laughs> I don't need it. I have got it. Anyway. Pretty clear. Crystal. Back to the Back. rye. Uh, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Well, because why? Because it's I don't like rice spice. I don't Neither one of us are huge fans. The the only I time like I'm, rice spice when I'm drinking hot toddy when I'm mm -hmm. muting it with when, mint when you, and black tea. You, and, or like a mold you want that kind of mold wine kind of like extra thin to it, right? No, if I want more yeah. I'll just have the fucking the Having the, had these two, this is a letdown. No, if I want the if I want the mold wine, I'll take the one that, that was more fruit. Yeah. Yeah, Alabama. I'll just take that and I'll pour that into. But like, you know what I mean. I'll just mull that over or sugar and maceate fruit. And in a hot toddy, this would be okay. Yeah, in a hot toddy. But this would be better. straight. This fucking sucks. Well then, should we shoot it? Fuck. You don't have to. Go. One, two, three. Zig zag, zig zag. Oi, oi, oi. The only rye, <laughs> the only rye I've ever liked, and I reviewed it on this channel. That I really liked was Michter's. Oh, that's not bad. No, it, it was one of those. I'm like, I'm bracing myself, and I saved it for last. And I'm like, hey. no, again, I didn't like sipping it. I didn't. There was a. There's a. Well, I, I had a flight of, of Michter's. So no, I'm saying that. The, oh, this? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't, shot. Like, I didn't like sipping it. I liked throwing it back. So interesting. Felt, yeah. Shooting it is okay. Shooting it is okay. Why? It'd be. That's what, the I'm, finish, that's what I'm working on. The finish on. is not acerbic, or it's not like... No, the finish is nice. I don't like the set, the settled flavor. I, you I, know what it I'd is? I'd rather get it down quick than, mm -hmm. than so, sit and linger. So our opinion, the Clyde Mays Straight Rye Whiskey, great as a shot. It truly is a mellow finish. I would take that Straight Rye, I would put that into... Or on the rocks, even, maybe? I, I would put that into a... Okay, so... Right, hold on, hold on. Black tea, Let me sum up. orange peel, brown sugar, vanilla, <laughs> cinnamon stick, all that steamed together with the rye. Make a nice big hot toddy, like 10, in, like 10 ounce, 12 ounce hot toddy. Three to five ounces of that. If you're going to bed, you're going to bed happy and you're not waking up <laughs> until the morning. If you're sick and you have a hot toddy, oh man. They do a great job of knocking that crap out. You will be, you will be asleep. I miss. I, I have been chasing that sleep for years. I had one because I was sick in Indiana. It, coincidentally, I love. Hot I was hot. sick in the winter in, in Indiana. My wife talked. My fiance at the time talked me into having a hot toddy for the first time in my life at some bar. So okay. it was an Irish bar actually, and they made. And I, got I, a, I got a girl from Boston. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, Ken. I don't know why Indiana went to Boston, but anyway, and. Uh, <laughs> I slept like a, I'm not going to say like a baby, because babies sleep terrible. Like a bear. I slept like a fucking bear. Like you hibernated. Like a, no, hairy old bear. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, kind of. So this is the order, I think, from left to right, as the viewer sees it. As the viewers see it. So, uh, I like the Alabama. I like the straight. I don't like the, uh, or sorry, I like the bourbon. I don't like the bourbon. But the, the Alabama is definitely taking the cake for yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, literally cake because it tastes like fucking dessert. And I, I will take that with a steak over any Lafroy blog of mm -hmm. hard bag. I mean, y'all can y'all can take that smoky PD shit. Shut up your ass. I don't need it. I don't fucking need it. I, no. I like nice light whiskeys to pair against the I don't, big heavy stuff. I don't want a drink that challenges me to enjoy it. Please. I don't I don't mind but a drink again. that challenges me if it's the if it's this just if it's just the drink. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, just, it's just like all right, here here's what I, I'm sitting in front I'd of. I'd be okay with the straight bourbon with the steak as well. Yeah. The rye, like you said, oh, mixing it in something it's with gotta be a cocktail, it's gotta be yeah. diluted a little bit. I think it's honey with hot. this, honey with this with, in a hot toddy would really work. So thanks for watching. That was there you go. Uh, five whiskeys down. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, this video, three whiskeys down. No, no, That's, it's the same video. I'm doing oh, I'm just doing one. Five whiskeys. Doing the whole thing. Why would yeah. I? Yeah. Me. Because I didn't set it up that way. Anyway, seriously though, if you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do down there. Click the bell. And um, if incidentally, if you want to support the channel, you want to support the channel, go to room6.shop, buy some merch. I got it laying around. I want to get rid of it. I got uh, what? Don't donate through YouTube because they take out 30% of your. I don't have a way for them to donate through oh, YouTube. Okay. You don't yeah. do like live chats or live streams? I can't yet. I need a thousand subscribers to go live on Facebook. Or, I mean on YouTube rather. But check me out on TikTok as well. Good Share videos. the videos. Share the videos. Subscribe. Please. Please uh, click the click the bell notifications. Please and thank you. Um, because I really am the whole point of this is to support the local music scene, but also to, you know, have fun and make as quality content as I can. We can only make so much content, we can only do so many things without interaction, without numbers. Yeah. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah. It's, it's their algorithm. Yeah. But um, in the meantime... Room 6. Yep. Remember to be amazing. And I know I just said it before, but it's been more than 30 seconds, so I'm going to say, if you want to see more videos, click up here. If you want to subscribe, click down here. Thanks for watching. Remember to be amazing. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. ba da ba ba da ba there you go. There you go. Remember, a portion of all proceeds of all sales go to help out the local uh, musicians and hopefully put together some great shows to celebrate the launch of the website. And as a thank you for all your support, these locally sourced shirts will be 50% off for the entire month of October so you can deck yourself out in style. I hope you'll go to room6.shop today and pick up some great merchandise. In the meantime, remember to be amazing and let's party!